No party won a majority in Taiwan's legislative yuan for the first time since 2004 after Saturday's legislative elections. The Kuomintang won 52 seats, just one more seat before the Democratic Progressive Party in the 130-seat legislative yuan. The Taiwan People's Party claimed eight seats, with independents and smaller parties capturing two. Examine the shifts in legislative seats across past elections. In 2012, the KMT won 64 seats and the DPP 40. The People First Party and the Taiwan Solidarity Union each secured three seats. In 2016, the DPP gained the majority with 68 seats, reducing the KMT's representation to 35 seats. The New Power Party won five seats and the PFP kept three. By 2020, however, the DPP held 61 seats, the KMT 38, and the Taiwan People's Party five, while the MPP fell to three seats. The 113-seat parliament includes 73 district legislators, 34 at-large seats, and 6 seats for indigenous legislators. Each voter can cast one ballot for their district and another for at-large seats. With the KMT up 14 legislative seats and the TPP gaining 3 seats, the formation of the legislative yuan will look different for the next 4 years. These shifts point to several potential developments. Despite its presidential wing, the DPP faces a lost parliamentary majority, posing challenges in passing future legislation. The absence of a dominant party necessitates cross-party cooperation, especially on critical issues like China policy and budgetary matters. The new legislators will step into office in February, ahead of the new president's inauguration. Taiwan stands at a critical juncture in a nation unfamiliar with coalition governments. The election results underscore the need for parties to focus on the nation's safety, economy, and societal well-being. This is Isabel Wang for TVBS World Taiwan.